Hi, I want to tell you a story today about this wonderful kingdom. There was an emperor who was the most powerful emperor ever in the whole history. There were many kings and kingdoms under this emperor and all the people in this kingdom loved him because he was not only super powerful but because he was also very kind, so loving and also super smart. Every place the emperor reigned, emperor ruled, there was abundance of food, abundance of all the good things and abundance of love and happiness. Now, there was one particular kingdom that this emperor loved the most and was very much in his heart. And although the palace that the emperor lived was quite far away from this particular kingdom, he would still often make a visit to this kingdom and all send his servants, his messengers to take care of this kingdom and see how these people were doing in this kingdom. And the emperor told people in this kingdom, you will continue to enjoy all the goodness of my kingdom as long as you continue to love me as your emperor. But as time went on, people started to get proud. They started comparing to each other and wanted to get better than others. Then they started getting greedy. Although they had enough, they wanted more. They wanted more food, more good things, more clothes. They were not content with what they had anymore. And because they were competing and fighting, instead of having more, things were becoming scarce. And life was becoming dark and harder. Their hearts started getting cold and they weren't as kind to one another anymore. And their love towards the emperor also started getting cold. They had forgotten about the goodness of the kingdom and the goodness of the emperor. Instead, now they were grumbling, backbiting. The kingdom, this kingdom was becoming dark. When the emperor saw what was happening in this kingdom, he sent his messengers to remind people and told them, what you're doing is wrong. This is not the way the emperor told you to live. Remember what the emperor told you, to love him and obey his kingdom's principle. But people didn't listen to the emperor's messengers. They even killed some of the messengers of the emperor. The emperor's heart hurt so much, it hurt him. And as he saw this kingdom turning against him and falling dark into darkness, so the emperor finally, and as the last resort, decides to send his son to that place. He said, surely this time they will remember that my son is their king and will listen to him. With much anticipation, the emperor's son came to this kingdom. The servants that went with him told people, the king has come. But many people, sadly, and to utmost disappointment, scoffed at this news. They even rejected the son as their king. Some even treated him very rudely. When this was known to the emperor, what do you think he would have done? He would do it. Mm -hmm. He was, the emperor was very, very angry at this evil act of people. I gave them so many chances and they even reject my son. I will punish everyone who rejects my son and refuses to turn away from their evil acts. I'm going to destroy this kingdom that has become so evil. The emperor told them, my son will establish a new kingdom, which will be like the kingdom that I first founded here, the kingdom that has abundance of food, abundance of all the good things, and abundance of happiness, so much happiness and love. Those who remember me as their emperor, and receives my son as their king, I will let them enter into this kingdom that my son reigns. And the emperor continued to tell people, now these people have short time left to recognize my son, who he is and receive him as their king before I destroy them all. So the emperor's son, the king, and his servants went around to tell people, the, the king told people, this kingdom here is doomed. It will be destroyed soon. Hurry and follow me if you want to enter to my kingdom. And the king and his servants went around to do many good things and did many things to help people to show and assure people how good king he is. 
some people responded to the call of the king and followed the king. You are our king and we'll follow you. But many people didn't follow the emperor's son as their king with their mouth. Many were saying, oh yeah, we know that the kingdom was, this kingdom was founded by the emperor and it belongs to his son. But they still didn't obey somehow, didn't obey the king's rule and continued to do bad. Well, with people who follow the king, the king formed a new kingdom. The kingdom that has abundance, food, good things, and so much happiness and peace and love. It was, it, there was everything people longed for in that kingdom. As other people heard about this kingdom, more people started to come to this kingdom. And this kingdom was getting bigger and bigger. You know, this kingdom that the king established with people who followed him is the kingdom of God. The king is Jesus. The emperor, the king's father, is God. And the kingdom that this emperor first founded that was wonderful at the beginning and then later became dark is the earth. One day soon, God the emperor and his son Jesus will judge the earth. Now is the short time given to the people on the earth to stop doing the bad things, stop doing the wrong thing and stop rejecting Jesus the, as their king. Have you received Jesus as your king? Will you receive him as your king? If you will, why don't you tell Jesus so now? Why don't you actually repeat after me? You can say it with me if you want to start that relationship with Jesus as your king. Say it, Jesus, I receive you as my king. Please rule my life. I'm sorry until now, I ruled my life myself instead of letting you rule. From now on, I will follow you and love you as my king. Amen. God bless you all.